So this morning we have a 2010 Nissan Sentra. It's brought in here because it's uh, heater fan is not working. No fan speeds at all. Sometimes you hit the dash and that might make the blower motor kick in. But not so lucky this time. All right, well, we're gonna get a wiring diagram out and find out where the fuses are, fuse or fuses are for this circuit and uh, make sure that they're, they're okay. Hmm, how come that light went off? I noticed there was a light on in here. Well, that's the recirc. Well, maybe there's no light on there. Okay, well, we'll have a look at the electrical. So here's the front, front blower motor. It's conveniently located right behind the center of the dash. It's kind of a bitch to get at. This yellow wire looks like a power feed wire. Let's go we'll see where that comes from. Two fuses, 15 amp fuses, two 15 amp fuses. And it comes from the front fuse block behind the left end of the dash. So we'll have to check fuse 10 and 11. It's got two 15 amp fuses supplying power to it and the blower control is controlled on the ground side. It uses a transistorized control though it looks like, not a conventional blower resistor. Yeah, this looks like a well, they call it an amplifier, fan control amplifier, so it's probably a transistorized system. Well, let's first and foremost find these two fuses and uh, qualify those. So the fuse block is located behind the uh, little holder cover here. You can see it's the two lower fuses in the bottom right-hand corner here. So that's those two 15s right at the bottom next to the connector, next to the 20 amp fuse, and they test good. It's hard to get in here with the light and... So, the, there's power to that fuse on both sides. So the fuses are good, so let's have a look at where that blower resistor is. So I decided to go after the blower motor itself, which is way the heck up in behind here, way up inside here. So I've taken this plastic piece off the side panel here and the floor mats off the floor. Move the seat back as far as we can. We're going to have to remove the gas pedal and brake pedal assembly. And uh, hopefully we can get at the connector. The blower resistor is on the right hand side of the dash. Got to pull the glove box and the insulation out of the way. I doubt that's the problem. Um, we're going to check to see if we got power and ground right at the blower motor. So I removed the trim on the Blow the steering column here. There's one screw down here in this corner. Undo the uh, hood release cable. Unclip the DLC connector and the connector on the, there's a switch on that cover. and Pull that cover off with clips. Uh, take the air distribution pipe out by dropping the, removing the screw in this ear and dropping the left hand side, sorry, right hand side down and pull it out from behind the air distribution passage. I guess it goes to the back seats or something. And next is the uh, brake pedal gas pedal. So we're gonna have to undo these two switches, the brake push rod and the accelerator pedal, and then remove the four nuts that hold the assembly on the floor. Let's have a look at that. So remove the two brake switches, disconnect the accelerator pedal plug. Uh, there's The harness is clipped here and here, so you have to remove or pry the clips out. You can do that after you drop drop this. Four 13 mil nuts hold the pedal assembly on the floor. And we can remove that and put that off to the side. Now we're starting to see up inside there, way up in there, is where the blower motor is. So we're going to see if we can get at the connector. So above the brake pedal and gas pedal assembly is another module, I think it's keyless entry or something. It sits up there with one little retaining screw, little five millimeter or eight millimeter headed screw. 
take that out, push it up, and then pull it out. And then you can disconnect the three plugs on the back side of it, which are a challenge, especially when they're cold. And we can put that off to the side. That gives us a little bit more room up there. I'm still trying to get the connector off of the lower motor. It's cold, so it doesn't want to come off. So there's a small retaining screw at about, oh, it's looking at it from the left side at around the uh, 11 o'clock position. Take that out with a small hand ratchet. Now you should be able to turn the blower motor counterclockwise about a quarter of a turn and it should pull out. I still can't get the connector off because I can't release the clip. Hoping that once I get the motor pulled back a bit, I can get the connector off of it. Well, that was fun. Finally got it out. Like I said, there's one screw sitting at about that position. Release, release, remove that screw. Then you can turn the motor this way. Then to get the uh, harness off, there's a clip on the harness that you have to squeeze in and pull out at the same time. I had difficulty getting that to release, but I finally got it out. I also had to remove the, the clevis off the brake pedal. So loosen the jam nut, hold it with a pair of, uh, or with a crescent wrench and, and loosen the jam nut. Don't disturb the adjustment on it because that's the push rod length. Uh, we're going to put a test light across that blower motor connector now that the connector is accessible and make sure we got power and ground there. So I got a headlight connected across the connector at the blower motor and you can see that it should work. So let's go ahead and put a new motor in it. I'm going to try to bring you under the dash where this blower motor is located so you can see it. There it is up there. I hope that camera's picking it up. You can see the retaining screw and the new motor is in. The wiring harness is reconnected. There's the harness for the module and there's the little bracket that the module bolts to. So we have to reinstall that. I did have to disconnect this actuator motor and pull this harness off out of the way so that the wiring harness didn't get caught on the way out. So we're ready to reinstall the module. Oh boy, this is a young man's job. So there is where that brake mod or that module sits. Up, up there. Well, we're going to change the cabin filter while we're here because to do it normally, the uh, gas pedal is in the way. The way they designed this thing, they should be shot. So we're going to pull this cabin filter out of here. I'm sure it hasn't been changed in some time. That was very, that was working very well, I'm sure. Now yeah, we'll have a look in there and see what's in there, if there's any leaves and stuff. Try to vacuum it out. It's getting a new cabin filter. That one's, somebody's changed it and they just stuffed it in there. Well, as you can hear, the blower motor's working now. it'd be nice to have heat considering it's been the coldest it's been so far this year so the heater is back together and working but I'm sure we generated some codes by having the accelerator pedal disconnected and maybe even some AC uh, mode actuators disconnected with the key on so we're gonna do a, a network code clear because I'm sure we generated some fault codes. I'm not sure if I have to have the key on engine off or if I could do this while it's running. Probably have to have a key on engine off. Most manufacturers are doing that now. If you don't do this, well, I noticed the check engine light is on right now. It wasn't on prior when I drove it in, so I'm sure that's because of the accelerator pedal being disconnected and the key being on. I turned the key on a couple of times. 
Why is it taking for so long? We'll pick up when it gets to the end here. So we're going to do a code scan. And see what kind of codes it's got in it. Accelerator pedal, position one, position two, lost communication with VCM. So I had that module unplugged. Communication between ECM and mobilizer impossible, so that's probably the VCM that I had unplugged. CAD communication circuit, CAD communication circuit, engine fuel cut system fault, and it's still going. So we'll pick up when it gets to the end. So it's got nine controllers, accelerator pedal, communication, 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 throttle pedal, throttle pedal. So we're going to go ahead and clear everything out of it. So when it leaves here, there are no codes in any computers. And it says with key on engine off. Continue. Key on engine off. It shouldn't take very long. It usually is pretty quick. Well, we'll pick up when we get to the end. So it cleared controller codes out of nine controllers. We'll cycle the key and do one more run and make sure that all the codes are cleared. And that's, that's it for this vehicle. Uh, that's a wrap. Thanks for watching.